I gotta tell the truth cause they gon' lie when I'm deceased They must yeah, not know me, surprise, yeah. I'll never compromise I'll never, I'll never, I'll never, follow, never follow suit, follow I'm tryna follow win, follow they wanna follow tie, follow yeah. Follow yeah. Follow What's yeah What's going on folks, it's your dude, Dutch, K.I.B, Kib, as long as you keep it a buck We're here today to talk about the rankings I released for the URL Double Impact PGs slash More Hunger PGs, specifically numbers 20 to 11. Yeah, 20 to 11. Um, shit, where should I start? The first discrepancy with the with the rankings, cause I know there's a lot. People saying this shit ass and shit. I love it honestly. Cause we getting the conversation going. You understand? For 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 a while, you know, the PG and the cars drop, there's nothing. Nothing behind it. There's nothing behind it, you know. No buzz. No promotion. And if there is promotion, it's very lackluster. You know, so I, I I like it. Let's let's keep the let's get let, let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, the first discrepancy is Cable Guy and and, and Kush Cloud's ranking. Why it's so low? And I think it goes back to my first blog I dropped. Maybe, pardon me, pardon me. I'm going too ahead of myself. Pardon me. Um, the first blog about the. About the rankings that I dropped, and, and and I was speaking on the selection process. Maybe I wasn't clear enough, but um, let's talk about it. I rank everybody on who I feel that will be the most impressive on this card. One, two, who I feel is the best overall battle rapper on this card. And little shit here and there, like who, who I think that has has a, has the best shot to advance and, and do well on a Born Legacy stage, and then maybe do well on a on a Gnome or a, a Sub Madness stage. But primarily, the best overall, and who will be the most impressive? Not who I think will win their battles. I care less about that shit. Who cares? You won. Big shit. You won, but they didn't get a call back. What's the point? So, so we let's talk about Kush Cloud and Cable Guy. Uh, Cable Guy. The reason why I have him so low at number nineteen, I believe. Yeah, number nineteen. I'm having him at number nineteen because I don't think he has performance. I don't think he has presence. I think in a crowd. His voice gets lost. His, his, his words get lost. He has bars, but at this stage, you're going to need more than that. Against his last PGs, against King Ape, showed me that. I was directly standing behind, pause, Cable Guy with, with the Golden Squad and, and the Coliseum niggas. I wasn't. I was out, and I heard the battle. And from where I was standing, he didn't do well. Let me rephrase that. He did not meet my expectations. His battle versus Mac Mel. I thought he was going to smoke King Ape. Why? Because I was talking hella shit to Norbs. That's my guy. That's my brother. I was talking hella shit to this nigga. Like, yo. King, King Ape doesn't stand a chance against Cable Guy. Cable Guy is going to smoke King Ape. Norbs looked at me and said, you're bugging Cable Guy. I don't see the big deal with him. Battle happens. I heard Norbs fell asleep. I don't know if he did, but I heard he fell asleep. Cable Guy, all three rounds, he beat King Ape clear. Was it impressive? No. And it just shows you at this level... You have to do more than just rap bars, spit bars. I like Cable Guy because he's direct. But at the same time, it's, it felt like he knew nothing about King Ape. And he couldn't 
he couldn't tailor his rounds the way he wanted to and it didn't translate well he couldn't tailor his rounds to King 8 and the punches and everything that he was doing was lackluster and, he, and, and to me he reverted back to the cable guy that battled Dutch in that big room in, in Queens Dutch Montego for the people who, he battled Dutch Montego in Black Thorn where Euro Ascension was but um, I digress he lacks everything that everybody above him has whether it's aggression whether it's Presence, control, charisma, quote unquote performance. Y'all don't want to hear it, but it's the truth. These are what makes people have interest in you. These are what makes you, these are my fault, pardon me. This is what makes you entertaining. To the masses not just you know New York and the same thing kind of goes for Kush Cloud as well um Kush Cloud is a, 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 a wordsmith great wordplay amazing wordplay that's all he has if he can draw little things from, say, the best person I can say he can look at is maybe QP. And where he has to develop something aside his wordplay. Because if you could work, if you're going to just wordplay somebody to death, you're not going to go further than where you are right now in the, in the URL PGs. If you could add some type of humor to his bars, comedic timing, I think humor will probably more humor if 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 he if he already has it more humor, and not just doing wordplay all the time. Even the people that are specialized can get boring. If you're gonna do wordplay. You gotta have you gotta add something to that repertoire. Whether it be more presence, more personality within your bars when you structure them. It's easier said than done, but that's what makes that's what separates people from the PGs and the people that go on to, to do born legacies, the gnomes and the summer madnesses. That's the only reason why I have them that low. Lack of whatever it is. Pardon me. The reason why I have them that low is because they just they just fire barsmiths and need that and more to get to the next level. So that's 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 my that's my personal opinion. But that's what my rank is, is about my personal opinion. And I try to be I try to be as objective as I can be. Because if we're if we're talking about bar wise, cable guy and Kush Cloud are easily top five. But that's not that's not what we're here for. It's not it's not a bar contest. It's about who will be impressive enough to get that call back and eventually become the new class of the URO. So that way we're, we're weeding out the washed up vets and building a new roster of elite talent. Another uh, question was why do I have Zeus at number 16? He should be in the top 10. He should be higher. He should be higher. But in order for you to understand why I have him at 16, you have to understand his history. 
Now, I don't know if I got it right. You could correct me in the comments. But Zeus came out the gate. Fire. I'm talking about his battle versus cakes. Fire. His battle versus bad luck. Fire. Gets a PG versus Cash Kai. Lackluster. Then I really can't tell you what battles happened after that, but I they weren't that good. They weren't to the to the to the standard that I held Zeus at. And I felt that around that time was when the creation of Poverty Baby was made. And then from there his momentum came back. And now you have the Zeus you have today. Now, my concern and the reason why I have my 16 is if you take away Poverty Baby, will he be the Zeus that had to get his momentum back? Or will he be the Zeus that was fire and, 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 and led to his first PG? That's my concern. And that's why I have him at 16. I don't know. He could definitely prove me wrong. Shut me up. Dutch is bugging. Zeus wild out. I, see, Dutch, I told you. Your rank is shit. Cool. But you know what? Until that, until that happens, I have him at number 16. The last question that people were asked about this list. Number 20 to 11 is why Styles is so high. Why is he at number 11? Because for one, I had him edging zigzag at his PGs. Both of them were dope. I think Styles was better. You know, it was a dope battle in my opinion. I don't know. We got to get that out. I think we should drop it, but that's neither here nor there. Styles' performance and charisma is on is, 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 is on point. It's on point. His aggression as well. And he has decent bars. Good delivery. Um, I think at this point, the, the Sue Surf comparisons have stopped. I don't think he really sounds like Sue Surf anymore. And that's it. And everything else just falls in line. 13, Fonz. I think Fonz has the the, uh, the, the, um, the ability to put Cleveland on the map. He's another one that's very aggressive. Talks that talk. He can punch. He can punch. So that's why I have him at number 13. Number 14. Sin City. Disrespectful. Aggressive. Has presence, charismatic. It's all his strong points. But I think in order to be more impressive than Zeus, he definitely has to bring it bar wise. 15 kid death. That boy that boy is entertaining. Another person that's energetic has that performance. And has bars. And that's my rankings. You know. Um, for the folks who, who, who didn't. Who didn't hear or didn't. Um, I don't know if I. I don't know if I explained myself thoroughly. In the selection process blog. But the reason why I have my list. How I have him is because of who I feel that's going to be the most impressive and who I feel is going to be the reason why the list is constructed the way it is, is because it's based on who I feel is the overall best on this card. One, two, who I feel will be the most impressive. And three, 
who I think has a chance to move on to the Born Legacies, the Gnomes, eventually the Gnomes, and the Summer Madnesses. And then, you know, little things here and there, like um, how well they did in previous battles, how well they did in previous PGs. Were, was I there at these previous PGs? Little things like that add up and help me make my decision on where I place who on this list. And that's it. Holla at me, debate, discuss, dispute, all in my comments. You know, I, I, if you disagree, I love it. As long as you let me know why you disagree, I appreciate it. As long as this list and this double impact 100 PGs get recognition, I don't care. We could talk about who's who, where's who. I don't care. We got to get this shit lit. And I like the way it's going. You can subscribe, man. Subscribe. You know, I'm trying to drop number 10 to 1 soon. Within the next two days. Follow me on Facebook. I'm um, Dutch space KIB. IG is Dutch underscore KIB. Twitter, the same thing. And Snapchat the same thing. And we out. Yeah? Hey, I came I'm up. Track. They should know my they name now. Name Fly now. die, baby horror. It's the it's gang the now. Game. Couple honey just to hide me from the fame from now. The fame Keep now. them fans going crazy like a game crowd. Yeah. I came up. They should know my they name know now. My Fly now. die, baby horror. It's, it's the gang the now. Game. Couple hundred just to hide me from the fame now And keep them fans going crazy like a game crowd